So in the first operator, this is to BigQuery. We will try to load some data from GCS bucket to the BigQuery using this operator. In the second operator, that is BigQuery operator, if you have to perform any BigQuery related task like um, if you have to execute some BigQuery SQL or BigQuery DML or BigQuery DDL, so we can use this operator to perform that task. So what we will do, we will try to load some data from GCS to BigQuery and we will try to perform some BigQuery related task. Okay? So let us uh, directly go to the demo slide. Okay? So in the first task, right, uh, in the DAG, right, Airflow DAG, that is Composer DAG. So there is one CSV file I've already placed into a GCS bucket. Okay, I've created one bucket our demo purpose. So I will try to load that data or CSV file using our GCS2 BigQuery operator, right? So in the second task, so. Uh, it will also create the table basically load means it will try to read the data from the CSV file available in the GCS bucket and it will also uh, try to create a table with a specified schema and it will load the data into that table. We will see how we can specify all these details while we are walking through that code. Okay, So in the second task we will perform some certain BigQuery task so what we will do we will we will perform some data aggregation using our sql so it is simple group by and summation using the table created in our previous task that is in using bigquery uh, gcs to bigquery operator so we will perform that data aggregation okay so here we will use a ddl statements we will try to create one more table with that aggregated select statement okay i will try to explain that in the code Okay, so the both these will task will be running on the Google Cloud Composer. So this is the demo. This is a simple pipeline and also these two operators are very important operators. So mo most of the times sir, when you are working uh, on a data warehouse, right on the BigQuery, if you have to load data from the Google Cloud storage bucket to the BigQuery using Composer, definitely you will have to use this operator if you have to perform some BigQuery related task like a like I already said executing a query or DML DDL you, you have to use this BigQuery operator okay so now let us directly go to the code okay so this is the code okay so let me explain this right so step by step okay so anyway in my previous video, I have already explained what is a simple DAG look like, what are the different sections we have, our components we have. So I have already explained these are the different uh, Python libraries uh, we need for this DAG, right? So here anyway we are using BigQuery operator, we need BigQuery operator and GCS2 BigQuery operator. This has been imported from this family that is BigQuery operator family and this has been imported from this family right that is that is gcs to bq everything is coming from this airflow contribute and operators okay right so this is uh, anyway yesterday so we are i'm deriving some custom python logic so these are the default arguments anyway i'm not changing anything from previous dag now this is a dag name that is gcs to bq and data aggregation that's uh, that's why i have named this tag like this okay and then our dummy start task now you just concentrate on this task right in the first task as i've already shown in the demo slide i'm going to perform load data from gcs packet to the bigquery table for that i have to specify all the input arguments so this is the operator this is operator object right i'm just instantiating and i have to pass necessary input argument like what is the task id gcs to bq load Right. So you have to specify the task names, right, uh, uh, in user readable format. I mean to say very uh, simple words actually. It has to be someone who is new to this code. They should be in a position to understand this and I mean they should be able to relate everything. Right. It cannot be a different name. It should be some related name. We are trying to load data from GCS to, GCS to BigQuery that's why we have named it gcs to bq load okay and then bucket 
from where we are trying to load our data right so let us go to that bucket this is the bucket that i've already created for our demo purpose in this project this is the bucket number and we have this file so we will try to go through this file as well very quickly how it look like so this simple file it has some green out greenhouse gas related some uh, data right so uh, it has uh, some these many columns right uh, and year wise data we have so we'll try to directly load this data and then we'll try to aggregate the data based on some year and also uh, some other variable or column okay let us quickly go to the code again anyway we have this file placed in this bucket now we are going to we have to specify the bigquery data set and also table name uh, where we are going to load this data right so this is uh, the project we have okay and uh, let us refresh this okay under this project i have already created uh, this data set okay under this data set i am going to create this table using this task okay this is the table it's going to create okay now i have to specify the schema as well right so for that so i'm just trying to match the schema this column names with the file name like here we have this column name right so i've been using the same names in the code right so here and we have to specify the entire schema details like what is the type i mean data type what is the mode nullable or not nullable something like that i have to specify each and every column and its data type okay once i specify the schema then we have this option because i have a header rows in this file so anyway we have explicitly mentioned the schema we don't have to load the schema otherwise no if we are using different data types other than string it will throw an error that's why we are just skipping the number of header rows or leading rows is one we are going to skip that header right so these are the uh, dispositions i'm using so if the table uh, is not there already so we are going to create with the schema if table is already exist then we can mention this disposition like right truncate means it will just truncate the table before writing the data if we try to mention append then it will try to just append the data but here i have mentioned right truncate but every time whenever you run this task it will just truncate the data and it will load the data right so this is the google cloud storage to bigquery operator right i hope you are clear so we'll move to the next task that is bigquery task so we are going to run some bigquery related queries over here that is so anyway we have created this table in our this previous task now i'm going to perform certain aggregations right so i'm going to perform aggregation based on year and and the other three columns so i'm just summing up this data value okay so and then what i'm what i want is so not only execute this query and i need to capture this result into a big some other big query table so that's why i'm using this dds state, statement right create or replace table and with this query right so now it's going to create this table with this query result i hope you are clear right and then dummy end task i've uh, defined the dependency like this right in a sequence start and once this task is successfully completed this has to pick up and this has to be completed and then end right now we are going to deploy this tag into our uh, compose the dax folder okay uh, now we'll see how it is uh, how the results look like and i hope you are clear and uh, we'll see if everything every task is getting successful or if there is any problem then uh, we can see some failures right so for your information i have introduced some manual error over in this task okay so as per my expectation when i deploy this task this task will run successfully but this will fail so we'll try to go through the log and we'll try to identify the reason and then we'll try to fix and then we will again re redeploy this uh, dag and then we'll see okay so now enable our cloud shell environment okay now i am going to 
deploy this DAG into our composer DAGs folder. Okay. So for that I am using yes util command copy okay then into our DAX folder copy right now I'm running this okay now this has been copied let us go to our DAX folder right now just refresh it now you should see one more DAX code is coming up over here now if you see now we have only two DAX this is our previous demo now let us try to refresh this DAG so that we should see a third DAG coming up. So there is no DAG so we will have to wait for some time and we should see this DAG will be shown here. Okay. Yeah now you can see our third DAG as shown up here you can see there is a fail already now let us go to this DAG okay go to the graph view let's see first dummy task has been successfully completed and this has loaded the data over here right now but this task has been failed now we will try to see one by one this is anyway dummy task you don't want to see anything now this should create this table right this table should be available over here in the BigQuery environment right now let us refresh Now you can see this table has been created. Just try to preview. You can see there is 20,000 rows. Now we don't see any issue with the first task, right? Okay. Go to the logs. Click on the logs to see if any other information has been provided. I don't see any issue. Task executed with return code zero means no issue. So the table has been created. We can see that, right? Now we'll go to the second task right so that go to the graph view now click on the lock just try to examine this log right carefully then you should see some error coming up over here see there is an exception it clearly says not found table right so it says this table was not found in the BigQuery, right? So why? We will again go to the code and we'll see. See, we have created this table. This is the table name in the first task, but we are trying to query a different table, which is not there in the BigQuery. This is table one. This extra one, number one is appended over here, right? So just I've actually I've intentionally uh, introduced this error manually just to show you how this DAG fail and now this task fail and how to debug just by going through the log so then we know the error now we have to fix that error right so now you can see since this upstream task is failed it, this is in this status upstream fail status I've, I've already told you right explain you these are the different statuses you can see in the DAG since this is the upstream for this this uh, this task this is fail this is with the upstream failed status right so i hope you are clear now we will fix this issue just by removing this one just save this now again we'll have to redeploy the dag okay right so and also just come here you can see this dag code whatever there here in the airflow web ui as well we have an option for that just come here you can see there is a code right so see this is our DAG code. If you want to quickly have a look at the DAG code, so always you have an option in the Airflow Web UI environment. Just come here and click on code, then you should see our code over here. Okay. And also remember, right, this DAG is for only demo purpose. 
actually in the production environment when you are deploying the DAX usually this is not recommended to hardcore the schema information right and also this query okay always you can parameterize these things you can save all this somewhere in the google cloud storage bucket and you can always parameterize okay so i will try to show that how we can do that in upcoming videos right you are clear right now anyway we have fixed the code now we will have to redeploy this code right for that what you can do simply again just do the same thing copy it to the uh, our composer dax folder this will just replace the existing file okay i'm just again running that copy command using gsutil now it has been deployed okay now go to the this thing here you cannot see you can see anyway this file is there you can you should see some timestamp has been changed okay now you should go to the so in order to reflect that new code over here it will take some time we'll have to wait till that time okay so just 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 see here only you can see whether our new code has been uh, available or not over here okay or reflected or not still it's old code we could see this table one again so we'll have to wait till it is a new code now you can see our new code has been reflected here you can see our correct table name right now go to the graph view now we'll have to trigger the DAG again there are two ways I've already discussed with you in my previous video so I'm using the first way I'm just clearing the first task so that it will trigger the next task in sequence because we have set the dependency in sequence so let us do that clear yeah this is an auto refresh and see this is running so now gcs to bq load is running now create aggr bq table see now this task has been successfully completed because we have fixed the issue now you can see it's log okay now you should see status code is zero right so now you, we should see this table also created in the bigquery environment right we should go to the bigquery and clear we should see the other table as well see now we have an aggregate table as well created with that operator Right, if you preview you can see this is the aggregated data right so like that you can also run any kind of bigquery sql it can be a dml or a ddl or a simple select statement right so that you can perform all the etl uh, related tasks right in the bigquery using our composure bigquery operator right so i hope you are clear right so this will help you a lot okay I will try to share this code with the video description that is for only educational purpose okay so thank you thank you very much and thanks for watching